calls me Goliath and I'll wear the David mask. I guess the stones are coming too fast for her now. You know I'd like to believe this nervousness will pass. Well, all the stones that are thrown are building up a wall. And I have become cumbersome to this world. I have become cumbersome to my girl. <clears throat> I'd like to believe we can reconcile the past Or resurrect those bridges with an ancient glance But my old stone face can't seem to break her down She remembers bridges and burns them to the ground I have become cumbersome to this world I have become cumbersome to my girl too heavy too light too black or too white too wrong or too right to day and night I'm cumbersome I'm too rich or too poor, she's wanted me less than I wanted her more. The bitter taste is cumbersome. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. No, 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 yeah. Oh. There is a balance between two worlds One where the narrow way to cross Regardless of the balance Life has become cumbersome Too heavy, too light, too black or too white Too wrong or too right, to day or to night Cumbersome. I'm too rich and too poor, she's wanted me less than I'm wanting her more. The bitter taste is cumbersome. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. No, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, your life has become cumbersome. Hey, my name is Gravity Groove. Welcome to Not Safe for Work, Rune Terra. That was Cumbersome by Seven Mary Three. That's an old uh, one-hit wonder band that a lot of people remember. Hello, humans. We are going to play some Rune Terra. Your alien host with black coffee in tow. If I haven't converted you to at least try black coffee, like, I mean, you're hurting my feelings. At least try it. I mean, it's not going to be, you know, whole bean roasted in-house good. But there's some good stuff out there. Just don't get... Don't get Sanka, don't get Maxwell House, don't get Folgers and then bitch at me about how your coffee tastes like a hamster cage smells, okay? Don't, don't do it. Get whole bean coffee, don't get Starbucks necessarily, it's okay, it tends to be over roasted. Get something whole bean, grind it at home, make a pot, try drinking it with no cream, okay, with nothing. If you can't stomach it, try a tiny bit of cream. You might come around. It's very good. Also very good for maintaining your weight and weight loss because caffeine is an appetite suppressant. And, uh, well, caffeine is great. Caffeine makes you perform better at virtually every task, especially games like this.
coffee. Not a sponsor. Um, so we are a couple wins from Platinum, I think. And today we're going to play uh, an old favorite, which is Twisted Swain. This is just a deck full of a bunch of powerful cards. Uh, nothing has really changed. It hasn't really gotten any upgrades, but it doesn't really need any upgrades. Um, one of the swing slots is the one of the most popular lists has two Rexes and a Leviathan. I felt like two Rexes and three Leviathans too often times I ended up with two eight drops in the first ten cards, and they were literally just dead cards. It was just unusable garbage. So we cut one of the Riptide Rexes and put in the third uh, Noxian Fervor, which has a little more utility, especially when you have spiders to potentially throw away. Uh, you can throw away your 1-1s pretty profitably to do your, uh, your 3 damage trick. Not a lot has changed from this. It's just very, very solid. You want just some low drops in the beginning, uh, and this stands up really, really well to the aggro decks that are looking to feed on the big ramp decks and the big mid-range decks. So right now the pyramid feels like it is uh, asshole decks. You heard me. Uh, asshole ramp. And <laughs> the decks that are trying to beat asshole ramp and everything else. Um, in which, you know, there's probably combo decks like Ezreal and combo decks like the one turn kill um, elusive words. And uh, <laughs> That, that feels like the pyramid now. I, I think I want to be beating the aggro decks and have a decent chance against Asshole Ramp and uh, in combo. Whereas uh, I feel like the ramp deck is too easy to prey upon at this exact moment. Uh, also, when we play the ramp deck, <laughs> I, I don't like the <clears throat> I don't like the mirror, and I feel like we uh, we're getting the mirror a little bit too much on and off stream. And it's a very mentally taxing and difficult matchup. And comes down to a lot of... You want to believe it's play skill, but when you're in a mirror, it's really just RNG. It's who gets what card when. Uh, a lot of your decisions don't really matter. And that never feels interesting to me as a card game fan. But I hate being in the mirror because I'm like, oh, it's the definition of a coin flip, right? Like, nothing we do matters here. It's who draws and curves out better. It's who has the vengeance when they need the vengeance kind of thing. Well, in the case that we both have Vengeance, who has the Bastion? Pew. So, if this is an Endor deck or a Harrowing deck, we're probably in for a bad day because we're not playing one of the many decks with Hush in it. We're kind of hoping the existence of Hush makes decks like Endor go away but some people are still playing them because that's the only cards they have. In the case that we do think this is a Hush deck, we probably want to keep the guillotine. We can't afford to keep the guillotine, honestly. Well, we have this thunder to go along with our flock. That's nice. Oh, this is misplaced aggro. A bunch of misplaced and ways to bring back misplaced. I haven't played against this, so I have no idea what to expect. Seems like Make It Rain would be very good against it. We can draw one of those. amount of damage on uh, turn three. Shit. We don't have any healing either.
boys up for a round or two. Which is definitely not what we wanted to use this for. Who says I don't share? Hopefully we got that trade clean so we can save this for something else, but... It's putting a lot of pressure on us. So, we can play this and go for the kill. I think that's the plan. Are we trying to play around the troll chant again? I mean, if he has the troll chant again, that's going to suck. Making him use it outside of combat is about as good as we can get. Now we need to try to drag this into the end game, which seems like it's going to be hard against a deck that can do so much damage out of nowhere. Especially when virtually all of our cards are like two, two power. We got them to use it out of combat. Um, we're going to start off with this. Plays another one, we can Dreadway Deck Hand and cast our hand. Uh, I guess in this case, we're just going to do that. Lady Luck is smiling. Missed calling another one. That's fine, we're just going to divert to this plan. to do, but we put under a lot of pressure. Just hoping for some of our top end to start showing up here. I guess if if we can survive this turn, we can level Twisted Fate. for the 5-2. I guess you can win them. So now we're just full swinging, I think. We could have one troll chant left. I 
they do have a troll chant left, which should be blocking Twisted Fate. Hesitation to tell. Huh. Well, there's nothing we can do about that, but we can get some value out of it first. Um. Should we just draw one card? Or do we cast both of these? I think we just draw one card. I mean, that sucks, but... Soak it in. Lethal in hand. Damn. Well, that was lucky. Ain't nothing left when I'm done. Now it's just two. That's lethal. That is all she wants. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I feel like that is a matchup where we are slightly favored. Um, being the, uh, I think the Twisted Fate Ezreal deck would be the best matchup for that uh, in terms of favorability, just because Mystic Shot is going to absolutely fuck up their their game plan. But they can make a fucking lot of fearsome X2s with that deck. A fucking lot. All right, let's see if we can get into platinum, folks. Okay. So normally this is a tempo deck. So another very aggressive strategy is what we're looking at here. I think these all seem fairly reasonable. We play nothing on one, deck hand on two, and then we have death hand to potentially kill a misfortune. And then we have Twisted Fate to potentially deal one to something to enable flop. Seems pretty good. I'm hoping we see a uh, make it rain relatively soon because they have a lot of potential two ones, I think. I think they run the two one challenger dude. Or is that Demacia? That's Demacia. All oh, right, they want Omen. Sure, sure. So that's one drop in Fjord. 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 <clears throat> I've whipped up something special. Ooh. Well, they're gonna have the Sejuani online in like ten seconds. We do not have a lot of clean answers for that. Just run while you can. clean answers to that.
This land is ours! <laughs> We're just drawing a card here? Or are we playing the uh, house spider? I can see playing the house spider. I do like drawing a card though. So that doesn't leave us with good blocks if they drop something. Yeah, I suppose this is safer. Safety will cost you. They nabbed me. In this case, we wouldn't have any good blocks for the open attack. Play twisted fate. I deal in coins and cards. So now we can deal two to this and stun it, or deal one to the field. Neither of those plays feel that great. I think it looks like we're going to block that. Be nothing left when I'm done. Um. Don't I hope they don't have another way. make it rain. That's gonna suck. So they almost certainly do based on this attack. This is gonna be hard to recover from. Okay. Oh, we should have cast the spider there. The waste of banana. Sure. There's plenty of killing there. Have to be very aware of Sishwani now. Um we could deal two to the pirate, and that sets this up. I don't think that's bad. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. It's certainly not exciting, but it's efficient. Hold it, partner. Ye stalking without me! We do need to start drawing into our top end if we're going to have a chance to finish this. That's pretty ideal. We didn't get all of them. We did have it though. going to just see about the next couple turns. I think Sizwani just decimates us. Like they play Sedge, they get to eat the uh, Twisted Fate. Sizwani is not leveled yet. Uh... Keep up, keep up! Flock doesn't really help us at the moment. The dead don't need riches. <laughs> this levels level swain.
kind of pause makes me wonder if he has fury. We're definitely not swinging this. Let's do this. More Leviathan. He must have a bunch of tricks, like elixirs of iron and fury and whatnot. Been quite a while, Sarah. So serious. Four You're four misfortune. Um. Sushi, I'm trying to play, hon. We could potentially level up Twisted Fate if it gets through this turn, but... This is going to guarantee a, a tick up on Sijuani. I think we would probably block here to here and then hope to guillotine, maybe? Um, yeah. We live here. We could guillotine here, or we could flock. So this would have canceled that out anyway, right? Oh no, that would have worked anyhow. Okay, so now we just do this, and then we pitch the fleeting copy. So I was right about Fury. Yes, you can win them all. I feel like so long as, as I said, we're in this sort of triangle, you have to decide what decks you want to try to beat. And right now, I want to try to beat aggro. And I think this is a good choice for it. Um, I super enjoy some of the rampy mid-range strategies, but right now, I have definite concerns about Mind Splitter. Uh, Mind Splitter in particular worries me a lot. Um, this card, this card. You can't kill it with Sunburst. You can't kill it with virtually any challenge unit. You can't kill it with um, most damage spells. Some of the decks it's in are also um, gem synergy decks, so chip, chip damage isn't even that reliable against it. You can kill it with Vengeance, but it's also in a deck that could be running uh, Spell Shield effects, either Invoked or uh, Main Decked in Bastion. And it grinds the game to a complete fucking halt. Like, it, it, beats, it beats two champions. If you have two champions on board, leveled, Infinite Mind Splitter beats, Infinite Mind Splitter beats them single-handedly. You got a leveled Trundle? You got a leveled Fucking a soul does not matter. Does not matter. The infinite mind splitter beats them both alone. And there are too few tools to remove it. Uh, I think the, the big thing that has to happen here is that its stat line needs to be dramatically reduced. Uh, perhaps it can be an 8-5 or an 8-6. Uh, if it's 
If it's got lower power, it's something you can potentially trade with, with more units. It can be challenged. It can be beat with uh, Sunburst if it's at least only six toughness. Uh, we need to look at this card much more critically and reduce its power level because every deck it's in, uh, it, the, the games that are close pivot around who gets to the uh, Mind Splitter first, if not the Soul first. If you get the first soul and they respond with mind splitter, soul doesn't matter that much. There's uh, there's definitely problems we need to deal with in the new power levels. I think there's just a little bit of uh, power creep going on, and hopefully it'll be smoothed out relatively quickly. But uh, if you can play this card, if you crafted it, play it. It's super super powerful. Uh, you might just get bored with the mirrors. So I hope you enjoyed today's games, and if you did, please subscribe, but more importantly, please leave a comment, say hello, tell someone in your family about this show, tell your doctor, tell your statistician, tell your surgeon, tell your butcher, say, hey, there's this guy with long hair who does videos on the YouTubes, and it changed my life, man. You don't even know! I'd say it just like that and wait for them to blink very slowly. <laughs> My name is Gravity Groove. This has been Not Safe for Work Terra. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I will see you, boom, and that explosive thumb next time.